Well, an exciting morning for us here at Daytime Tri-Cities as we are about to announce the winners of the Appalachian Art Show. Joining us this morning to do the honors is the Executive Director of the Kingsport Art Guild, Stephen Reeves, back with us this morning. Stephen, good to have you on the show. Thank you so much. It is, it is a pleasure to be here. Well, you guys have had a very busy weekend and judging, and of course, this is a very big art show. You were telling me they actually have to be judged before they even get to enter this yes, show. Yes, the process, the Appalachian Art Show is our most prestigious show of the year. This is our 55th, would have been annual if we had it last year, but we didn't. Um, and so the jurors actually go through all the entries. I think we had 70 or 75 entries, and then they go through those and they reject some. It is a process that artists know uh, so well that we sometimes don't get in a show. So it's, it's an honor to get in the show. And of course, the top 10 um, Award of Excellence receive $100 each. And then there's the first, second, and third place, with Best in Show being $700. $500 for second place and $300 for uh, third place. So uh, it's, it's good money for artists and um, we are so proud that artists stepped up and said, yes, I want to enter the show. Uh, we were as safe as we could with take-in mm -hmm. uh, and a wonderful volunteer. We're a volunteer organization and a nonprofit, so uh, we're grateful that we've been around. Actually, the Kingsport Art Guild has been here 72 years. And as folks are about to see too, of course, that pandemic influencing some of those entries that, that you is, saw too. That is absolutely correct, yeah. yes. Well, let's get started because we've got a lot to show folks. So we're gonna start with the Awards of Excellence. Okay, we're gonna start, the one on the left is by Tim Tate. It is an oil painting and it is titled 311 Ready for Christmas. If you could see this in person, you'd see that the Christmas lights wrapped around that pole are done so well and it's detail oriented and it's just lovely. The middle piece is by Christy Ward. It is titled Angel Materializes. It is a multimedia piece and it mm. actually looks like uh, there's um, wax in it and there's pieces that are attached and uh, it's really lovely. Wow. And the piece on the right is also by Tim Tate. It is titled Creature on the Wall. Uh, so Tim made a big impression with the ju jurors this uh, year. And the nice thing about that, it's also an oil painting and the detail is the shadow that the creature makes is really awesome. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and show the next three in the group. Okay, the one on the left is by Frank Vioski. I hope I'm pronouncing his name correctly. It is a pastel and it is titled Imago Day. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. If you see the if you see the boat, you look you can see the mm -hmm. name of that. It's uh, upside down. It's on the boat. These two little boys. One is sleeping. The other is there. I wonder if they're. You know, we don't see any water, but we do see the sand. Mm -hmm. uh, it really has a wonderful feel to it, and it is a pastel. The one in the middle is by Marianne Gribb. It is an oil painting titled Light Over Darkness. Uh, these group of people, it looks like they're on a deck. I'm not sure exactly the location, mm -hmm. but in the distance, you notice that there's the ocean. There's a path leading up to it, the one man with the shirt off, and uh, have they, they're just leaving the, their, their daytime trip, maybe their vacation, uh, hoping for a vacation. Uh, the piece to the right is by Patty Lawrence, and I admit that I love her work. It's an assemblage piece. Uh, professionally done, it almost looks like a musical instrument. And by the way, when I put it on the wall to take photographs, the five metal pieces at the top, those, uh, they j hit together and they made this beautiful musical sound. Huh. So it's not just a piece of, of art that's uh, visible, it literally is, is a musical instrument to a degree. <laughs> and then we'll show the last four we, before we get on to our big awards here. Okay, and the one on the left is titled, uh, What's Impossible to Man is Possible to God. I think I got that right. It's an oil painting of a bumblebee, and it all, it's by Jennifer Phipps. Um, it shows the importance also of the framing. It's a gilded gold frame that shows importance of this and undoubtedly her meaning to the painting. Okay. Um, the next painting is by Marty Engel. It is titled The Joy of Art. And it's our largest painting in the, in the show. It's actually three feet wide by four feet tall. Wow. And The Joy of Art, if you uh, look at all the elements of this painting, you have a photographer's light, uh, you have all these drawings at her feet, so it looks like she's ready for a photo shoot. 
There's a painting beside her, and of course she's holding one. Okay. Uh, the one to the right of that is by John Hilton. He is a professor of art at ETSU. Uh, this is a pastel and charcoal uh, on paper. It's, it's really large also, and it is titled, They Only Come Out at Night. So he, <laughs> his draftsmanship is excellent. He's putting a rooster's head on a possum's body with, of course, Beautiful. the stars representing the night. And Love it's that. fun. It's yeah. done really well, and it's fun. The last award of excellence goes to Gregory Corradino, and it is titled Twilight. Uh, it is a also mixed. It is oil and cold wax, and there's texture to this. You actually can see the texture to it um, if you s see it. And I it's hope beautiful. that people will will come to the to the gallery, 1200 East Center Street, the Renaissance Art Center, and check it out. The show's wonderful as we. The climax to the top three, the top three. Okay, so here is our third place winner. Our third place winner wins $300, and it is by Anne Vachon. It is a watercolor, and it is titled COVID Santa Ponders Christmas, <laughs> or Pondering Christmas. Um, Santa Claus is typically thought of as jolly. The jurors actually thought, of, you know, said that in their statements mm -hmm. uh, that we think of jolly old Saint Nicholas. This Santa is obviously not. He's a working Santa, undoubtedly. He's holding his hat. He's wearing khaki trousers. He has a looks like a light blue or white uh, polo shirt on, and he has his. COVID mask on, yeah. so it absolutely resonates with what's going on this past year. Yeah, you can almost feel it. You can feel exactly. the dilemma. <clears throat> and all right, our second place. Our second place is by, isn't it lovely? It is by Michelle Opatek Alles. It is actually coffee. It's a coffee painting with Conti pencil and graphite. It is titled, uh, Lessons I Learn From My Ducks Maintain. Uh, and Michelle does exceptional work. The, the jurors spoke of her draftsmanship, her, uh, her truly exceptional drawing skills. Mm -hmm. And if you notice that lighter, it looks like it's in movement. Yeah. Uh, it is teetering on what to me looks like a bed frame. <laughs> I don't really know what it is, but uh, it's done really well and it, uh, it, it, it's whimsical, but also it's done exceptionally well. And, I think having a coffee done with coffee is just amazing. And she wins $500. All right. And the and best in show who wins $700 is Black Nanny by Jay Flack. It is an acrylic painting. It is life size. Um, it is a joy because it's his first time entering. He's a young artist. He's a biracial man who I got to meet. And um, so this resonates with his life and his history of knowing that in America that uh, many black nannies actually raised white babies. Mm -hmm. And the look in her face, the jurors did note that uh, the emotion that is expressed, and it's done very simply, this painting is not, um, uh, is done in a way that's almost illustrative, uh, but it still has some depth to it. And uh, it resonates with, uh, with the life of a black person and that she's doing her job, but is there joy in that job? Is there joy in that job because this is her job, it's not her baby she's taking care of, and maybe she would want to be home with her child. Mm -hmm. So I'm uh, thrilled for him because he literally was just happy to have a, a show to enter. Uh -huh. And so I told him when I, when I met him, I said, I'm not part of the judging process, but I think you're gonna do great. Well, congratulations <laughs> to all of our winners. Stephen, thank you so much for joining us and sharing the stories behind the work. Don't forget, it is on display so you can see it for yourself. It's Kingsport Art Guild dot com for more information. Thank you so much.